Hey friends, in this one I wanted to test the Fantex Enthu Evolve uh, Tempered Glass Edition, the full size ATX um, case, so I guess not full size, but the ATX version of their case, and because I saw a video saying that it was bad for airflow and it would cause temperatures to rise because you know it couldn't pull the air in through it. So in this video I'm going to test it. So we're going to go through a quick one minute bench just to make sure everything goes alright, show the clocks on everything and then I'm going to set it for 30 minutes and then see what the temperatures are after 30 minutes and then after that I'm going to take off all the panels and then run it again for 30 minutes to see how it does. Now for this I've got a thermometer and I've got this so I can see the ambient temperature in the room that way I can see if it is actually cooling better with the panels off or on. I mean as the temperature rises Everything should rise in temperature because it's not as able to cool as well as it is in a colder room because it's based on the ambient temperature. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so I just wanted to show you on the numbers everything. If you look at Task Manager, CPU is running at 5 gigahertz. Just running the CPU, it's about 72 degrees. So on EVGA Precision X, you can see I've got 150 megahertz boost and then a 580 megahertz uh, memory boost. Okay, so now we have our base numbers. Um, it's currently 73 degrees in the room. So we're going to go ahead and get the benchmark or the stress test started. We'll go for 30 minutes. And then we'll use up to 32 gigs of RAM. We'll go ahead and start. Alright, so starting out we're sitting about 75, 78 degrees. So we'll see where it hits. As you can see, all the case panels and everything's on. So, we'll come back in 30 minutes. So shortly after starting it, got blue screen. I don't think I had enough voltage. I recently did a BIOS update and it reset all my settings and I thought I put it back to how I had it, but it didn't. So I increased the voltage a little bit. I think it's stable because I remember it being stable at this temp or this voltage. So I guess we'll see what happens, but just in like the couple minutes that it was running before it blue screened, um, the temperature just got up to 74.1, and we're now staying steady at 82 degrees Celsius. So we'll see how it goes after 30 minutes. All right, it's now been 28 minutes, so almost 30 minutes. I didn't want to wait till this to stop and everything to cool down. The room temperature is 76.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the CPU temperature is 86 degrees Celsius. And then the GPUs are 49, 48. I saw GPU one get to 50 degrees. Cam does this when it has no CPU to run. We'll pop back in just a second. Um, GPU two is 48 degrees. I saw it go up to 49 degrees. Really, I don't think that's too bad. I definitely don't think the case is what's hampering it. Switching this back to, or switching it to Celsius, I'm 24.9 degrees Celsius. So I'm on the CPU, I'm 62 degrees higher than room temperature. I think most of that is just due to the TIM on the 7700K being poorly done by Intel, not because of the cooling of the system. But the GPUs are holding at a very good 50 degrees Celsius. I personally think as soon as I take the panels off, it's going to be a very similar result. Okay, so the panels are off. See, you can stick my hand in. Nothing blocking anything. <laughs> Here on the temperatures, we got 41 degrees, 40 degrees Celsius on the processor, 37, 36 degrees on the GPUs. And apparently, Windows is doing something because now it's spiked up a little bit. And wait for that to stabilize. Okay, it stops. So 39, 40 degrees Celsius, 25.4 degrees Celsius, or 77.7 .7 degrees Celsius. All right, I'm gonna switch this to an hour, but I'm gonna come back in about 30 minutes and check on it, and we'll see what our temperatures are. And like I said, there's no panels here. Everything's on or off on the front. As you can see, the case pieces are still off. Nothing had in. Still going. Right at 28 minutes. 
Okay, so room temperature is 26.2 degrees Celsius or 79.2 degrees Fahrenheit. CPU temperature 78 degrees Celsius. Graphics cards are 43 and 42 degrees. Now that we've gathered the numbers, let's take a look at them. So with the panels off, the room temperature was 26.2 degrees Celsius. The CPU was 78. The GPUs were 43 and 42 degrees. Now the room with the panels on was 25.7 degrees Celsius. CPU ran at 86 degrees. GPUs were 49 and 48. So there was a delta of about eight degrees Celsius between the two. Wow guys, I am completely shocked, completely blown away that there was that much of a difference between the panels on and the panels off. Like I was saying in the earlier part of the video, I didn't think there was going to be any difference. And if there was, maybe a degree or two. Well, I guess I gotta throw away the case. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, I, I, I still think it's a great case. I don't think an eight degree delta is really that big of a difference, especially considering everything was running full tilt. During normal usage, I don't have any issues with the temperatures. The fans are barely spinning. It's not loud. It's actually really quiet. I mean, even when I'm gaming, the exhaust fan turns off most of the time. So it really doesn't get that hot in there. Yes, the CPU does have a bit of an issue. I'm blaming that more on the CPU rather than the case's ability to cool it because the 7700K is known to have thermal issues because of Intel putting a crappy thermal interface in between the die and the heat spreader on the processor. I also think all cases are going to have a bit of an issue. Maybe not as much as this case. I haven't tested any other cases, so I, I don't know. But I'm guessing that there's going to be some delta. And depending on the case, it's, it could be worse. Like, I would bet money that the NZXT H440 is actually going to cool worse than this case does if you threw the same setup in it. But that's just my thoughts on the issue. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button below. If you want to see more of my stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time, guys.